Hi everyone, uh, my name is Kalish and this is one. Today we'll be talking about uh, 16K paid size supports in Android. Okay. <laughs> so basically it's like, why 16K page sizes, right? Right now, most of the mobile devices, they have ARM, and basically ARM support 4K, 16K, and 64K page sizes, right? So basically it's like what we decided is like, we decided to try to put Pixel 6 with 16K page sizes. And basically it's like what we find out is like, we saw like four times less page faults, and also it's like the ad launch times decrease by, by in average by 3%. And in some cases, like for example, Google search, it decreased by 16%, right? And also the same with Google search, sorry, sorry with Google news, it, decre it decreased by 30%. Also another thing that we saw is like, there is less power consumption with 16K page sizes, right? We find also some trade-offs, like for example, with 16K page sizes, we consume a little bit more memory because right now the L segments are 16K instead of 4K, and also the, the disk space increase with 16K page sizes. Uh, just a bit of background. Uh, we'll go over a simple ELF, uh, ELF file and how we load it into memory, just to give, get everyone on the same page. Uh, so here's an example of an ELF file with three load segments in some nice round numbers for uh, just to simplify the explanation. So the virtual addresses uh, specify how we load the, the load segments relative to each other and the alignments is important because uh, we, we can only enforce the protection bits on a page granularity. So, yeah. And uh, how the loading happens is first the loader, at least in, in Android, the Bionic loader reserves the entire memory region, which extends the entire range of all the load segments. And then we map in each segment uh, based on the V adder. Here we are just using a load bias of zero for simplicity. And there can be some padding in between the segments. This is just for the alignment requirement. However, with uh, 16K page size, we need to we need to increase the alignment to at least be uh, at least be 16k, uh, at least page size. Else, we else there are permission overlaps on the same page, and we cannot we cannot enforce that. <laughs> so, the same thing happens again. We reserve the memory region for all the segments. Then we map in each segment, and uh, we have the padding uh, to for the alignment requirement now 16k so there is a bit more fragmentation and uh, since the pages are larger and a bit, bit more uh, VA space usage. However, uh, historically Android has always uh, always uh, aligned L files to only 4k alignment so we cannot simply change the page size so we need to first migrate the ecosystem to have a larger L alignment then that will allow us to change the page size. So this leaves us with a situation where we have 4K page size uh, system with a larger ELF alignment, 16K. And this is an issue because it introduces another problem. When we map in each segment, the segments are uh, only rounded up by the page size. So what happens is the original reserve mapping is split, the VMA is split, and we have uh, an extra front non mapping between each segment. So this leads to a slab memory increase. In, in Pixel A, we found about uh, 25 to 30 megabytes increase after boot. Uh, yeah, there are multiple ways we could uh, fix this uh, problem, maybe even in the in the static linker, but we, we two approaches we explore in the bionic loader we can do at uh, dynamically at load time. Is One is we could unmap these extra VMAs, which leads to some, you know, additional system calls and some overhead and additional complexity in the in the loader but another approach perhaps simpler is to extend each vma to the end of each uh, load segment vma to the beginning of the next uh, load uh, load segment vmas so this is uh, conceptually not that different from the gap that already exists from the end of the the segment end to the 4K, to next 4K boundary. Instead, it's just to the next 16K boundary. Yeah, so basically it's like with 16K page sizes, if we want to run a 4K app, it won't run, right? So we try to find several solutions 
And the first solution that we explore is like basically it's like instead of having every segment to have its own permissions, like for example, read only, read dry, and read execute, what we did is like we memory map our, um, uh, basically a region and then we mark all that region as a read dry executable. And basically it's like that works. We, we were able to run 4K apps in 16K page size kernel, but there is security implications with this approach. The next solution that we try is like, basically we try to do binary analysis to convert one 4K shared library to a 16K shared library. And in order to understand what it changed, it's like we have to write like basically a parser that compared a stroke by a stroke of the different L, L sections. And then it's like we found that basically the global offset table, the PLT, the PLT section change, like the dynamic section change. And yeah, and basically it's like we, we were not successful with this approach. Let's see the next one. Oh yeah. So the next thing is like, we're going to talk about the driver issues. So basically it's like one of the, in Pixel we are using, in Pixel 6 we are using a UFS controller. And this, when we try to boot Pixel 6 with 16K page sizes, what we found is like, the, basically the, we found out an error like, oh, the partitions are not found. So after digging further, like we, real, we realized that the UFS controller didn't implement the host controller interface the standard. So basically it's like this host controller interface standard says that you have to use segments larger or equals to the page size. But for this UFS controller, we, uh, basically it requires to use segments smaller than the page size. So basically bar ashes provide some patches to fix that. But it's like we have some problems of streaming them because it's like the patches fix a happy. Uh, basically a hardware that didn't implement a standard. Yeah, also another issue that we have is that with the trusty driver. So here, here is the thing in the, in the ARM architecture, you have several exception levels. And we're starting from EL1, EL2, and EL3. Every level can have different page table granule. So here, here is the thing is like when the kernel tries to talk with the firmware that is executing in EL3, it's like the kernel has one page size granule and the firmware has a different page size granule. And in order to talk, they share, they share a buffer. So basically the issue that we found is like the kernel was saying, okay, the buffer is 16K page size, but the firmware is seeing like 4K page size. So basically it's like, we need to provide a fix in the driver to basically to tell the firmware, hey, we're using a buffer of 16K page size. So, and the kernel see the same thing. Yeah. So another issue we, we had to solve is how do we emulate the 16K page size on x86 architecture? So the first question you might have is, why do we want to do this? And the reason is uh, for Android, most of the app developers are developing on Windows machines. The majority of them uh, actually are, uh, so they are x86 based. Uh, and uh, running the ARM64 emulator for Android on, on, on on x86 is extremely slow, so it's even impractical for some of these developers to do. So we need to provide a testing environment for uh, for the developers to be able to test and support 16K in their apps. Well, the way we are going about this is to, we have a modified uh, x86 kernel, which presents to user space a 16K page size. However, under the hood, the kernel is still using 4K page size. And uh, the way we do this is by uh, like emulating the 16K behavior. So the VMAs are, are always uh, ensured to be 16K aligned and the 16K multiple size, which, uh, and, and the, any syscall that operates on memory regions like mProtect or mmap or, and, the, and friends also have this requirement. So yeah, just, just one, uh, I want to share one interesting uh, situation that we need to handle for this emulation to work. So uh, the, imagine you have a file which is less than the page size. In this case, in the illustration is two kilobytes and you mmap it. So what you get is some page sized uh, multiple chunk of uh, VA space. In this case, it's just 4K, one page. If you, if you access anywhere on that file, it falls in the page. 
However, if you access anywhere after the two kilobyte, it also falls in the same page because this corresponds to the same uh, page size offset in the file zero. Uh, you can write on that extra region, but it doesn't persist to the file. So in the 16K, uh, in the 16K uh, emulated case, we, we need to, since the kernel emulates the 16K page size, we have, instead of just a you know, 4K memory area, we have 16K KB sized. So if we touch anywhere in the, four, uh, in the first 4 KB uh, se section, is the same behavior as 4K. However, if we touch anywhere uh, after four kilobytes, what happens is the kernel will try to fault in another 4K page, which at some offset, which doesn't, which is off the end of the file. So it will give us a sig bus. So the way we are uh, handling this is by, we detect this situation and we, we, we replace that region with an anonymous mapping. So which gives us the similar behavior. And some user space programs like the loader try to zero these regions, which is why user space is touching us in, in the first place. Do we want to open it for questions a bit, I guess, at some point? Yeah. yeah, we can. Yeah. Any questions up to now? Yeah, from Matthew Wilcox, who says this is a horrid solution. <laughs> Uh, okay. All right. So go go on. If somebody's got a question, uh, but go on. Yeah. Yep. Uh, is this solution like back compatible 4K? Like, let's say you ship Android with all these fixes, and somehow we decide to still keep 4K. Is this still back compatible to 4K? Well, basically, it's like we are looking for a solution where we can have a 16K page size kernel that can run 4K apps. I mean, we, we have some solutions, but this like probably they are not very optimal. So we are still exploring the, the best solution for this case. So we present like, for example, one solution that align all the, all the segments to read, write, read, sorry, that set the permissions to read, write executable. And with that, with that, we can run the apps. But it's like, basically it's like it has security implications. Yeah. Another solution that we try is try to do binary analysis Basically, it's like, yeah, we start parsing the L, L5, and then it's like try to try to fix all the offsets in the basically in the text section. But the problem is like some compilers embedded data inside the code. So basically, it's like we we were fixing offsets in the in data that we shouldn't do. So basically, that that I mean that's the problem that we face. And then we were trying to use linear disassembly and also recursive disassembly, like. But it's like, uh, yeah, with these two approaches, it's like, we, we, we didn't succeed. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, so basically the last, the last thing that we're going to talk is about, <laughs> basically it's like with 4K page sizes and, and pixel, it's like we, we, can, we have 39, uh, 39 bits virtual analysis, and then we have three level page walks. But with 16K page sizes, what we can do is like, we, we can reduce the number of page walks to two. So basically, so basically it's like, this, this brings us a better performance on top of the, basically it's like we get 2% better performance on top of the 16K page size performance that we get. But this like, yeah, but basically it's like, when we were trying to go like uh, so, sorry, I'm sorry, there's a comment on the on the chat there. Uh, yeah, Matthew says I think you're looking at the wrong solution. Uh, you should be looking for something that allows you to use 16 KB or larger page sizes, not looking for a 16 KB base size kernel. And then Trilok has a comment uh, which says emulation of the 4K will leave out performance benefits of the 16K on the table, but it's a trade-off. I thought they're aligning the binaries to 64 KB by default, so it covers all the variants. Yeah, we're gonna have to take it offline because there are about 30 seconds left, unless there's last thing you wanna say here. No, thank you. <laughs>